Okay, I got a tutorial on how to stack pistons. Um, first off, obviously the single piston. You can use buttons or switches and it doesn't affect them. When you stack two pistons, you um, can you still use buttons and switches and it doesn't break them. But once you get up to three pistons starts getting a little bit messy and you you can't directly power the pistons with a switch or a button because it won't uh, it will break them and then it will stay up but you can use this pulse thing and it when you flip the switch twice makes a pulse and then it goes up three blocks or you can use a button and does the same thing okay I'll start off by um, building the double piston one you want to use a sticky piston for the bottom one and a regular piston for the top one and then give power to the bottom piston and then you have to make this um, circuit here that it opens the bottom piston soon and keeps it open longer so the top piston has time to close before the bottom piston closes otherwise it will get stuck you just wire that up. You can't just connect this directly like that. It'll um, give power and then it won't close. So you have to have this piston here. Then it will close and not stay open. Then you want to power the top piston which once this is powered goes up one box so you want your power up here then you just bring the power down you can power this block like that give it some delay then um, hook a button up. Works perfectly. Now I'm going to go build this one. This one's a little bit more messy because when this piston goes out, then this one goes out, and then that one goes out, and then that one goes down and then this one goes down but then this piston still stuck up there so this piston has to go back up and grab that piston and pull it back down into a stack of three um, yeah it's it's not the smallest of designs but when I first made this it was like ten blocks out that way big and I compressed it down a lot um, through testing but I figured this is as about as good as I'm gonna get it start off with two sticky pistons and then a regular piston then power the piston then make our memory or circuit here that keeps it open longer and then since it's the bottom one you have to have a second circuit I haven't figured out another way of doing this but I figured you have to have this like this this one's one from its four three yeah three notches and that one's four just like that one over there 
and then to power this again you have to have this second delay this one set at 3, that one set at 4 and then you power these <coughs> this one goes up to the next pistons and powers this platform up here for powering the second piston. You need to power the piston, make a second circuit up here. This one goes up to the third level. Then you have to get, you have to put delay. This is what brings the top piston back down. It when it's stuck up there, this delays and then it powers the, this piston and then brings it back down. You have to set this one to 4, this one to 4, this one to 3. <coughs> and then this wire interferes with this wire, so you just break it up and then this one has to be set to 2 that one set to 4 that one set to 4 3 4 3 4 and that one set to no, 1 or yeah 1 and then you have to make this pulse Thing. It shortens the length of a button or makes it so you have to flip a switch twice. Start off by breaking this so we our pistons don't go up. It's kind of like a memory circuit, but not exactly. Or, uh, I think it's called an RS, RS NOR gate. Power goes in here. Power comes out here. And you add a button. Oh, delay. <laughs> this one has to have two delay. That one's set to none. I'll bring this power around so you can see it. goes up, goes down, and then pulls that one back down. You can also, <coughs> if you're making like that gate over there, I have a video on that, um, you can make rows off of this one design up to, um, obviously like, um, I guess it's 15 for power. You 
just can come off of these. It's very simple after you get the basic construction. None of these need delay, they're just to separate the wire. And then all of these go up and come back down. Um, that's how you stack pistons. Um, you can use those to make stuff like this. Pushes down, which that's just an inverted. It's a one that goes down of those, except it's down instead of up, and then you just place sand and it pushes up. And I have this hooked up to a T flip flop. It opens a thing down here. I'll do a video on this T flip flop, and I'll do another video on how exactly to make this gate on how to do make all this mess right here this is basically just this stuff over here it's basically just all that stuff right there and in a version that will go vertical so you can bring it up to the top and use these